Hey, what's going on guys? I just recently got my royal toes from Exclusive Access and I wanted to take this opportunity to show you guys how I lace my shoes and I wanted to give you guys some tips on how to make sure that these laces stay nice and crispy so that they don't fray and they last you a long time. Let's get to the video. So when you first get your dead stock shoes, so for these Jordan ones for example, the first eyelet will be laced and you want to go ahead and loosen that up a little bit and the other end of the lace locks should be knotted up so you want to go ahead and undo those so after you've undone the laces you want to make sure that you pull both sides straight and make sure that they're even and that there aren't any twists and one thing to keep in mind is you want to make sure that when you do thread them through the eyelets you want to make sure to keep them loose and i'll tell you guys a little later on why that's important now getting to actually lacing the shoes if you pre-strained out your laces and set them aside you should be able to pull through about 70 percent of it without much issue and keeping it straight and as it gets shorter you want to use the opposite side of the eyelet that you're threading it through to help keep it flat and if it's not guided it will start turning and then you're going to have to twist it and that'll increase the amount of fraying on the braided laces. So I like to put one finger in between the eyelet and where the laces are and what that allows me to do is it allows me to tension down while pulling against the opposite side and that again will also force the laces to stay straight as you're pulling them through. Now as you start lacing it towards the top, I do want to point out that the eyelet on the tongue is actually fake for this specific Jordan 1, but you would lace that normally just like any other shoe and you want to continue the pattern that you're doing whether that's under first or over first. Now before you decide on how you want to finish the laces, either having them dangling or knotted, once you've laced them to the top, if you've kept your sneakers laced loosely at this point, you should be able to easily take out the shoe tree that came with your shoes. And you wanna take this opportunity to put in any specific accessories you have. So for example, for me, I have my sole shield that I like to slip in at this point. So from there, you wanna just slip your foot in and it should make the perfect adjustments for the upper section. So while you still have them on, you can then adjust the lower to middle section for them to be looser or tighter. Just keep in mind that if you do make them tighter, you will increase the risk of you creasing certain sections of the shoe. Now that you got the most important part down, which is your fit, you can finish the laces a couple of ways, as I said earlier. You can take the lace locks through the bottom to last eyelet and let them poke out and dangle to the desired length that you like or you can choose not to use the last two eyelets and you can just either knot them up in front or behind the tongue for a clean finish so that's pretty much it for the lacing tutorial now enjoy some nice shots of the finished product All right guys, I hope those tips help you guys out. If you guys are struggling to change laces quickly or if they are getting destroyed. And don't forget to stick around so you guys can catch my next video, which is gonna be a full Royal Toe review that I am currently working on. I have a bunch of other reviews coming up as well. So as always, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to ring that bell notification so that you guys get the latest updates from me when I do drop that next one. And as always, guys, stay safe, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.